Zoolander 2 is in theaters near you coming up on this Friday. Uh, Zoolander, a monster hit. Zoolander 2 back in theaters again on Friday. Uh, ben Stiller joining me here on the Rich Eisen Show in a matter of moments. Laws has the phone in his hand. I'll call the play-by-play. -play. He has the phone in his hand. I think he has just talked to Ben's handler. Ben is going to get on the phone in a matter of moments. I saw the movie uh, last night with the missus. Uh, funny stuff, no doubt about it. Ben Stiller co-wrote it. He directed it, and he's the star of it, and he's here on the Rich Eisen Show. How are you, Ben? Hey, Rich. How you doing? I'm doing fine. It's been a while. Thanks for calling into the show. I appreciate it. Yeah, man. So um, uh, you're back in theaters as uh, Zoolander 2. It looked like you had a blast doing it. Uh, is, that, is that a safe assumption, that you really had a blast doing it? <laughs> yeah, it was fun. I mean, it was kind of uh, it was interesting and, and a little bit weird at first, actually, because it had been a while since the first one. So, you know, it had been like 14 years. So a lot of, you know... A lot of lights had gone by, uh, but then when we got back into it and started working, you know, with with Owen Wilson, Will Ferrell, and we got back into doing these characters, um, it felt it was really fun. Well, you know, I mean, also, yeah, it's cer it's certainly the first lard bar I've ever seen. Um, <laughs> you know, and I, 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 I've been, you know, it's been too long since a lard bar has been portrayed on film, if ever. Yeah, right? I know, uh, and, and I'm, I don't think I gave too much away by saying that, Ben. Um, <laughs> You're the first person who's called out the lard bar. Well, me, uh, look, uh, it's <laughs> once you've seen it, it's it's tough to unsee. But it's one of those things too that uh, it, it. That's why I say about it, like it looked like you're having fun. Because how, how many takes did you do when you just stop and just say this may be the stupidest thing I've ever been a part right. of? Well, I mean, I'm a big Will Ferrell fan, so yes. for me, you know, just being able to like direct oh him in scenes like that and let him do his thing. Um, and I might be, I might have been giving him, you know, uh, the wrong direction, but every time he do something, I'd be like, yeah, do more of that. Oh, my gosh. With that. Um, you know, bigger, crazier, because he just make me laugh. So, uh, you know, we, I, I, he, Will is amazing, and, and, and Owen, too. And, but so I would just kind of keep going. We keep going with it as, you know, as, and take chances and just kind of see what we, you know, would make us laugh the most. And then... And then you get in the editing room and you look at it and you see what, you know, you think works for the story. And, you know, sometimes something that seems too big, uh, uh, you know, when you're doing it is actually works in the context of the movie or vice versa. So it's kind of a, it's a fun process. Though. Yeah, I was about to ask you, so uh, who cracks you up more? Because uh, Will, I can imagine it's tough to keep a straight face around him, but the Owen Wilson deadpan, the sort of whispering <laughs> delivery on some of these lines is classic. <laughs> Ben. Well, Owen, I, Owen, Will, and I are, are friends, but we, we don't see you. We're not as close as Owen and I, because I, I, I've known Owen for twenty years. I've known Will for a long time too. But mm -hmm. so Owen, as you know, we have we're, you know a friendship where I, he'll just make me laugh all the time. So Will, when I'm working with him, I'm more kind of like uh, I'm like an audience watching him <laughs> and just in, enjoying it. But uh, Owen, in life, uh, will just you know say something. That uh, you know will just crack me up, and it pretty, it pretty. He's probably the person who makes me laugh the most. Um, him and my wife, I'd say. Ah, yes, and your wife was in this. Uh, uh, yeah. may, may her character rest in peace. Yeah. Um, but <laughs> yeah. you brought her back to life, and I don't want to get that again. I don't want to give away too much about this whole film. No, well, we, I mean, we but, did need a way to sort of jumpstart the story and to kind of put uh, Derek in this place where he needed to come back from something, and so we decided to start the movie off with the, with a huge tragedy. Of the um, Derek Zoolander Center who can't read good and want to learn to do other stuff good too, <laughs> collapsing. Yes, to the East River. Yeah, his wife and it maims Hansel, who's, you know, his beautiful face is ruined. So it, it gave us a place to start from. And uh, the, the film, the film may have set a record for cameos in just the first 10 minutes alone. My wife and I were watching it. We're like, wow, it was just one after another. Uh, how much of, uh, of this was your Rolodex that you spun around and just called people up to it, say this? You know, not people that I really necessarily knew that well, but there were people that we, you know, that I, I would reach out to just personally because of the way we were making the movie and, um, you know, and just say, hey, we're, we're doing this, um, you know, people... That I didn't like, like Sting. I, I don't really know Sting, Sting that well. <laughs> Sting, Sting was fantastic <laughs> in this. Sting He's was awesome. I think he's a really good actor. But you know, <laughs> and and so he was an important part of the plot. Yes. So for us, <laughs> that was one of the first people that I had to reach out to, and um, and uh, and Justin Bieber also. So uh, 
And you know Justin Bieber and I are really tight. I think that's common knowledge. We hang all the time. Yes, uh, well, you so. refer to him as the Beebs normally, Ben, but you that's just right. you just right. you don't want to drop uh, too many but, names. Uh, so anyway, those but those guys, you know, once they got on board, that was sort of it was great to be able to then tell people, hey, we're doing this, and these people have already said yes, and and Anna Winter was a huge part too of helping us, you know, sort of uh, open up the doors of the fashion world. Zoolander 2's star, director, co-writer Ben Stiller joining me here on the Rich Eisen Show. Uh, did you watch the Super Bowl? You checked that one out, Ben, this past um, week? I did watch it. Uh, I wasn't, you know, I wasn't that into it this year, to tell you the truth. Why is that? Um, and I'm not, I'm just not, I'm not a huge football fan. I'm, a, I'm more of a basketball fan. So you, okay. I'm, I'm a Green Bay Packers fan. Mainly. Well, I mean, that, that that brings me, I guess, to the question that Favre got into the Pro Football Hall of Fame this past weekend, and I imagine right. is that is that the genesis of your Green Bay Packerdom from something about Mary? I, I, you know, I guess so. And then also, I'm an Aaron Rodgers fan, and uh, and actually, when we were shooting Zoolander, uh, his girlfriend Olivia was yes. in the movie. She's uh, one of the quick cameos at the, uh, one of the fashion shows, and so Aaron came and visited the set, which was really exciting. Now, did you have any? Did you have any uh, urge to just throw them in there? Just put them in uh, some form of, <laughs> just throw them out there? You know, uh, it would have been great if we'd been shooting a scene that we could could have gotten them into. But it was it was a very we were shooting a different scene that didn't have um, any uh, people like that in it. Because it yeah, he there. strikes me as a guy who would just be he would be totally into that if you just like throwing him a couple lines. He he just jumped right into that, Aaron. Yeah, yeah, and he he. Um, is a fan of this movie Heavyweights that I did a long time ago. <laughs> it, it, like, it weirdly classic. like knows every line, which is incredible to me. So. That's funny. <laughs> ben Stiller here on the Rich Eisen Show. Now, I had Favre uh, last year with both Farrelly brothers. He surprised them when he was on the show here. And uh -huh. they told a story about the whole Favre line was ad-libbed by you. Is that is that a true story, Ben? Yeah, I just, I literally didn't know how to pronounce the name. <laughs> So I was asking them, how, is it Favre or Favre? And and, um, and they thought that was funny. Yeah. And that's how it made it in. And that's how it made it in, yeah. Uh -huh. And you really had a catch with him? Did that actually go down back in the day? I did have a little catch with him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm all coming back to me now. Yeah, I yeah. Have a yeah. Catch with that. And uh, what, what yeah. was what was that like? Because yeah, I was about to say I'd, I'd be like uh, definitely intimidated. You know, when they yeah, yeah, for sure. When Favre's out they there, because you don't want to drop one, right? That's right. That's right. That's what I imagine. Hey, Ben, thanks for calling into the show. Appreciate it. Um, uh, I, I look forward to seeing everybody enjoy what I enjoyed when I saw the film. It's it's really funny. Oh, thanks, Rich. Man. Good talking to you. You bet. Same here. That's Ben Stiller, uh, Zoolander 2, in theaters Friday. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern, on Audience.